We had a brief conversation in the green room before coming out here today, and a term that came up was ways of knowing. Scientific knowledge is contained in one way of knowing. It contains abstract facts about cause and effect, about processes, about the relationships between objects, great or small, in the universe, including relationships between people. We can contain that in our minds. That's a little bit different from the experiential knowledge, from the sensation of perceiving in a very vivid, sensory way what's going on in the world around us. These are actually not identical memory systems. They overlap somewhat, but not completely neurologically. And I think we may be talking about somewhat different things here. Scientific knowledge sort of goes into one part of the mind. And I can describe perfectly well how light is from the sun is filtered through particles in the air to create a sunset. I know that factual information very well. That doesn't change the fact that when I'm looking at one of the pretty spectacular Arizona sunsets that we have, what's catching my attention is not that factual knowledge, but just how big the sky is and just how complex the pattern of colors is up there and how miraculous it is that that can even be. Those are simply different ways of knowing and experiencing the universe. They don't clash with each other. They can actually go together quite nicely.